there, Earth Signs. I hope you are doing wonderful today. Thank you for joining me for another group session. So if you are Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, these messages will be for you. Now, friends, if you haven't been to one of my sessions before, all good. Just understand, not all messages are gonna resonate, and that is totally cool. Look, card's already flipping. If you need a private session, check me out at my website, kellyfergusonreadings.com. And of course, if you like these messages, please don't forget to support me so I can keep supporting you. Whether that is a like, a share, or a subscribe, your support is appreciated. So, Earth Signs, it's an important week. It's Halloween week and all sorts of magic can happen in Halloween. So I'm leaving this reading open to see what kind of messages are gonna come through for you in the spirit of Halloween. But again, the veil is thin, so you might get extra messages. There might be magic flying around you. So heads up, Earth Signs. So, Earth Signs, Earth Signs, please. What's the main message for our Earth Signs? And thank you to all my new subscribers and followers who have joined me lately. Thank you so, so much for your support and I hope my messages are resonating with you. Earth Signs, please. What's the main message or the main focus for our Earth Signs this Halloween week? Earth Signs, please. Earth Signs. Earth Signs. We can get a jumper for our Earth Signs. Earth Signs, please. No, right here. Okay, whoa, all right, taking action. Bam, earth signs in your face. <laughs> okay, so hold on, this is not working out well. Let me see if I can get that better. There we go, okay. So taking action, earth signs, I love it, do it. Now what it says down here is I enthusiastically embrace life's boundless possibilities. So this doesn't necessarily mean that you know everything that you want to do, but this is telling me you want to make changes. You might already be making changes, but 100% the ball is gonna be rolling if it's not already earth signs. This is pretty cool. Okay, so let's look into a little bit more detail for you. So energies that you're bringing into this week, your focus right now, and what's gonna happen down the line for you. Earth signs, please. Earth signs in our best good. Halloween messages here. Now this deck is the Thelina Tarot deck. I love the deck, but it is very, very slippery and it's kind of difficult to manage sometimes. And you all know that my cards fly all over the place as is, right? So I'll do my best to keep it all under control here. Earth signs, please. Messages for our earth signs. Halloween messages for our earth signs and our best good. Earth signs, please. Okay, is this where we start? Because they're already jumping out here. Is this where we start? Yeah, I think so. Okay, yeah. All right, interesting, okay. Let's take a look at this. You are definitely taking steps to come into your power, not only emotionally and spiritually, but also in a knowledge base, I feel like you are trying to um, bring in all sorts of resources, again, from the four directions, whether it's mind, body, um, spirit, emotion. I really feel like you're looking at everything that's going on in your life and really trying to balance yourself and get yourself in line with what you want so you can have some clarity and gain stability and perspective. All right, so. In terms of the energies that you're bringing into this week, I don't know if something knocked you off um, off of balance or anything like that, okay? But I do have the strength card showing up in reverse, okay? So when the strength card shows up, but in reverse, this is usually telling me that perhaps you're leaving some things to the side or not focusing on things or not putting um, a lot of momentum in areas that perhaps you should be working on. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that if you're not doing it, it's because it's something wrong. This could mean that if something isn't working for you, again, taking action, right? So if something isn't working for you, maybe you are looking at this and saying, the whole thing doesn't work for me. I'm not gonna keep whipping a dead horse. I'm not gonna keep focusing and trying to bring change to a situation that doesn't wanna change. Maybe I need to exit the situation in order for me to create that change, okay? Because this strengths card is really about putting your nose to the grindstone, seeing things through. Sometimes this means biting your tongue as well, which can be so hard in many cases, right? But this is telling me that you're either deciding to not put focus and not fight the fight or just to leave well enough alone, which sometimes can be very good advice, okay? I also have the six of pentacles in reverse. So whatever is going on for you, again, whether it's career, whether it's relationship, what is this for our majority of our, of our 
earth signs. I'm hearing finding yourself, okay? Now that can mean all sorts of things, of course, okay? Anything more specific for our earth signs here? Yeah, a new way, a new life. Like, I feel like you have been thinking about, you know, where do I want my life to be? What sort of changes do I want? Just on a general perspective. And I feel that you're kind of going in and looking around you and going, you know, I'm not super happy with this. I'm not super happy with this. Not like you're having any big tower moments or things that are horrible and crashing around you, but this is you knowing that you want improvement and you want to feel better and you want to um, capture the power and the momentum of you moving forward. So this is saying for you, if you know that things have been out of balance, this is your opportunity to go, okay, these are the areas that I need to focus more closely on so that I can bring balance to them. And when we're talking pentacles, we're talking about stability. We're talking often about money or career or how safe I feel in my life. Okay. So this is about you taking the reins and gaining control so that you can steer your ship in the direction that you want it to go. Okay. And you might be feeling a little bit out of sorts as a result of this, okay? Queen of Cups in reverse. So you might be feeling emotional. You might be doubting yourself. You might be unsure of the road ahead and therefore insecure about the steps in which you're taking, okay? But no one understand your earth signs that when you're coming from a place of not being fully happy or not getting what you want or kind of having to leave some stuff behind because it wasn't working and it's probably not going to work, sometimes you do feel sad. Sometimes you feel out of your power and out of your element, but that's okay. Because like we've said before, sometimes when some old structures um, disappear or don't work, it's about time to bring new things in that are going to be stable, okay? So don't let it get you down. Don't let it get you down, Earth signs, because there's some cool stuff coming. And let me tell you, right away, I've got three major arcana showing up all in the upright, which is telling me all of this is in divine timing for you. This is all happening for you, not to you, okay? So number one, the hermit, okay? This is about you slowing down and going within. Some of you may be keeping your plans or your ideas to yourself right now and not sharing with others. Some of you may be distancing yourself from social circles or from, you know, workplace type stuff and really keeping to your own. This is about you going inwards, inwards and finding out what do I want? Asking yourself the question, what do I want to feel like? What do I want this to look like? How do I want to feel on a daily basis? Because only once you ask yourself those questions can you then realize what some of those answers are and start moving in the direction for it, right? Taking action, right? Notice how this guy's even jumping over the water. So this is about you not getting emotionally involved with it, right? Because that's totally showing up, queen of cups in reverse, right? So don't get emotionally attached. See things for what they are logically and in a real um, realistic sort of way and then you'll be able to make informed decisions okay and check this out heart of the spread the emperor yeah so you are taking full charge here you're like you know what I don't need to do it the way this person is and this person is and this person is I can do these things my own way I can call my own shots because who knows what's right for me more than me right so this doesn't mean that you're not flexible and you don't try to move with the times because the emperor can be a little bit notorious for being stubborn and set in their ways and all of that. And you know, the emperor comes by this honestly because you don't get to be an emperor by being Mr. Nice Guy. Sometimes you have to make decisions that other people aren't comfortable with in order to have, whoops, huh, in order to have the greater good for other people or like for the whole, okay? So this is saying don't be stubborn, but stand in your power because you know better what is right for you than anybody else. And check it out, we've also got the Hierophant showing up. So you are sitting in a place of power, you are sitting in a place where you're connecting to what is right for you and what you want for yourself long term, but sometimes we need help along the way because when we're trying to make changes and go off in a new direction, sometimes we don't feel comfortable, sometimes we tread into waters that are unfamiliar for us and therefore it's hard for us to see the forest through the trees or make decisions that are really good for us. So what this talks about is bringing in the keys of knowledge and wisdom. And in fact, this came up in yesterday's quick card. So if you are looking for a medical answer and you're confused about what's going on medically, go to a medical expert, okay? If you have legal issues going on and you don't know how to solve them, go to a legal expert like a lawyer, right? So if you have areas where you're unsure, don't be afraid to ask for help. Don't be afraid to ask people who are experts in their area for their advice and their guidance because they might be able to bring more stability into your plan, okay? 
Now, what I love down here for you in the future, check this out. I've got the Two of Swords in reverse. This tells me any confusion you have, any um, dots that you haven't connected, any missing holes in your plan all come to light. This is about clarity. This is about you not being confused anymore. This is about you being able to shed light on the areas that you are not an expert in and turn this upside down and have clarity, connection, and know where you're going, okay? So 100%, that's why this divine timing piece happened with the uh, hermit, the emperor, and certainly the hierophant, right? Because when you go outside of your own knowledge base, you're not confused anymore, right? Mm -hmm. And then I have the four of pentacles in reverse. You are no longer feeling insecure about your future. You're not feeling like you need to collect and hoard all your resources in order to keep yourself safe. No, we're good. I don't have to panic. I don't have to rely on other people that make me feel safe, even though they're not good for me at times. You also might be seeing that Maybe people that haven't given you good advice in the past are, you know, you're not listening to them anymore. And it doesn't mean they don't mean right by you, but just because something works for someone else doesn't mean it's gonna work for you. Also, there's lots of people around us that might give us advice that is legitimately not good for us, okay? So if you are evolving and you've gone and taken the time to go within and know what's right for you, and for example, okay, now I have to turn over a new leaf in health and eat better, etc. Well, if you're listening to someone that's saying, have more pizza, that might not be in your best good, okay? So listen to the advice that's coming and that's in your best good and resonates for you. Anybody who's bringing forward any pity parties or wagging their finger at you, don't need to listen there because check it out. You are coming into your power, right? And this is earth signs, check it out. King of Pentacles, that's the earth element. You coming into your power, specifically earth signs. The King of Pentacles is a very lovely energy. It is a, well, it's a male energy, but it doesn't mean you have to be male. But this is talking about you finding security. You, and it goes very much in hand with this emperor, okay? Emperor is a fire sign, but that's okay, it doesn't matter. This is telling me that you come back to your yourself. You find your inner fire. You find your inner security. You're able to bring balance to a situation where you didn't feel balanced before. And as a result, you feel stronger. You feel like your platform of security is stronger and wider and that you have everything you need in order to build a strong foundation for yourself moving forward. You definitely are in your power. You are definitely having a plan and moving forward and your plan is working earth signs. Look at this check it out, right? Got your little chest of gold there and everything's uh, turning up roses for you. Earth signs, you definitely wanna go in this direction. So, earth signs, considering it's the Halloween week, let's finish off with the Halloween Wheel of Fortune. Oh yeah, so, earth signs. Earth signs, please, Halloween Wheel of Fortune, what messages are here in our earth signs best good? Earth signs, please. Messages for our earth signs from the Halloween Wheel of Fortune. What is it? What is it? Hang on. Hang on. I think it's in the white. Ooh, yeah. Earth signs. Now is the time to try something new. Yes. So the Halloween Wheel of Fortune is totally in alignment with your reading today of trying something new, right? Taking action being in alignment with what is right for you and going for it. Perfect, perfect. Earth signs, I hope you enjoyed this reading and that it made sense to you and it helps give you some direction and where to go. If you need a private session, you can check me out at my website, kellyfergusonreadings.com and thank you again for joining me for another group session. Thank you, Earth signs.